Russian politicians and officials are very alarmed by Ukraine's cross-border incursion, according to Vertska's sources. A source from the Moscow mayor's office told journalists that panic is growing among his colleagues. He compared the situation to the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. That also seemed like it wouldn't last long, but it turned out to be a long-term thing, the source said. Initially, Moscow officials believed Russian forces could end the attack in two or three days, or a week at most, but this proved false. The incursion is now in its second week. In the first few days of the offensive, the source said the lives of the city's political elite didn't change much and the Kursk region wasn't a major conversation topic. But on August the 8th and 9th, they said, we got scared. It was during that period that reports surfaced of a burned out Russian military convoy being found near the town of Rilsk. Members of Russia's political elite began closely following the news from Kursk, actively sending each other posts from pro-Kremlin war correspondents. A senator close to the Federation Council's Defense Committee told Verstka, The Defense Ministry says one thing, and we publicly relay that, but meanwhile we're all reading the war correspondents who are tearing into General Staff Chief Valery Gerasimov and saying we weren't even monitoring the situation in the Kursk region for the first two days, he said. He continued, It's reached the point of absurdity. We don't even know who destroyed whose convoy. By the looks of it, they destroyed ours on August the 8th and we destroyed theirs on August the 11th, but you can't make heads or tails of it. According to the senator, the mood among the authorities has become very anxious. At the same time, he said, the reported rise in the number of enlisting contract soldiers has been met with cautious optimism among his colleagues. In his view, the increase shows that people want to defend the motherland. They understand that the enemy is on their territory and not only on the new territories. Another source with ties to the Russian parliament said that officials are alarmed because Kursk is less than 500 kilometers from Moscow. The fighting is very close. People are suffering and evacuating just a few hours drive from Moscow, he said, calling the situation more alarming than the one in the Belgorod region. Additionally, Ukraine's new offensive could eventually result in criminal cases against civilian officials and security and military officers for allowing the breach. Two sources familiar with the situation told Verstka. Another consequence of the incursion could be an indefinite delay in the peace negotiations between Russia and Ukraine, a source in the Russian parliament told. Ну-ка, расскажи, зачем тебе Андон отдает в своем портмоне? Ну, это бывшие девушки остались. Бывшие девушки? Да. Это кто твой боевой товарищ? Нет, просто <coughs> это когда приехали, было уже это. Ну, ты не признавайся, они просто лупились там в посадку. Нет, нет. нет. Это просто, ну, со мной приехал. Здесь знаешь, это улом уже. Друг дружку там штовхала, не? Нет, нет. Она, она. Точно? Точно, точно нет. Кто, кто стоит, да, твоя бывшая? Егор, ну-ка расскажи, зачем тебе Андон отдает в своем портмоне? Ну, это... Бывшие девушки остались. Бывшие девушки? Да. Это кто твой боевой товарищ? Нет, просто <coughs> это когда приехали, было уже это. Ну, ты не признавайся, они просто лупились там в посадку. Нет, нет. нет. Это просто ну, со мной приехал. Здесь знаешь, это улом уже. Друг дружку там штовхала, не? Нет, нет. Она, она. Точно? Точно, точно нет. Кто, кто стоит, да, твоя бывшая? Ничего себе. Ужас.